Today is day 24 of the internal family systems self-therapy reflections that we have been going over. And we are in a new module around the whole food controller concept. And one of the areas of polarization and that we are going to navigate today is a part or sub-personality called the foggy part. And this is actually something that oftentimes resides in the um, the whole polarized area that's very similar to the food indulger or the rebel. And we talked about those in the last few days. So this is actually a new type of polarized conflicting part to the food controller called the foggy part. So what exactly is this foggy part? Well, for anybody who's ever experienced um, a dysfunctional behavior, be it gambling, pornography, shopping, um, excessive TV watching, or, and again, in the case of um, the bright line eating where it's no sugar, no flour, three meals a day, and uh, everything weighed and measured, is we have these bingers or these people or these parts to us that cause you know us to binge on food or to be anorexic or to purge or to do excessive activities or exercise. And so um, the foggy part is the part that we oftentimes get into when we start to disassociate. And if anybody's ever experienced this before, where you know um, you'll actually start getting into a food binge and then you will lose almost like your self-awareness and you'll almost kind of zone out. It's almost like um, anybody who's ever had chemotherapy, they call it chemo brain, where you zone out or you don't really recollect you don't know the details of why you actually know you binge, but you don't really know how you got there. You just suddenly wake up and say, what did I just do? Um, you're not really conscious or aware. You're kind of disconnected from your body and your brain. You're just kind of in automatic mode. Um, if anybody's ever seen that before, where you get into your car, you put the seatbelt on, and suddenly you find yourself in the location that you were supposed to go, and you have no idea how you got there. That's kind of the same thing when you go into complete automatic mode. So it's a lot of times when the foggy part takes over, you get into this really kind of dull, lulled, kind of confused and overwhelmed sort of way where you're just not aware. And it really is your body's way of trying to um, protect you from the conflict it feels with the food controller. And deep down inside, there's a wounded child that this foggy part is trying to protect. So again, this wounded child could actually be feeling a kind of trauma from when it was young, either feeling lonely or shame or grief or ridicule or criticism uh, or numerous other sorts of things that it's harbored and locked into its childlike psyche. And so the foggy part is trying to numb and dull and prevent that, that, that wounded child or that protected child from feeling any of that. So it just numbs out, it zones out. And, um, and oftentimes can actually um, pair up with the food indulger. So it may end up just throwing you into a tailspin and just start wolfing down food. Um, to numb out the pain and then you at the same time you're numbed out or it can also pair up with the rebel and and the food indulger and then you're in really big trouble and then you're just feeling this complete conflict um, but the the foggy part will come into play to just numb everything out so that you don't actually realize that there's actually any conflict going on between the food controller and the food indulger and the rebel so they're all kind of playing out together so um, this is a really important thing to be aware of um, and oftentimes the foggy part will take over for such a long time that while you're binging, you will suddenly come out of that zone, that zone out, realizing that you're, you've, gone way gone, they, you've gone way beyond the full, feeling full part to a point where you're feeling sick, physically sick because you've eaten so much. So this is a, a really, so what the reflection of today is, is just to be able to get into communion with this, taking some notes um, today and in the days to come, uh, if it's journaling or reflecting in a meditation or a quiet moment or closing your eyes or while you're breathing deeply, is to be able to determine and be able to catch 
if and when you may be feeling a foggy part in you. Um, and keeping in mind that this foggy part can come out even when you're not eating. It could be something out when you're just zoning out in general, when you don't want to do something. We talked a little earlier about the procrastinator is these can have very similar kind of elements. Um, so the foggy part is the part that numbs you out, that, that phases you out, that makes you subconscious or unconscious or unaware of what you're doing, saying, or thinking. And it really, ultimately, it's there to protect you. It's a protector, protecting the wounded child from e feeling any further pain. So love it instead of hating it. But today's reflection is just taking an opportunity to learn and feel and become an awareness of it. So please leave some comments below if you want to share any experiences you have with this foggy part. Please like this video or um, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, my friends, live unfettered.